Hello and welcome back to Floor Planner. My name is Bob and as I always say, hey, I'm here for customer success. I'm here for you all to give you as much new information as quickly as possible. So we're gonna be talking today uh, about the last month's updates uh, for the month of November. And uh, we're gonna discuss three new updates that are now live inside your floor planner platform. I think you're going to really enjoy these. These are really exciting. Um, so let's, let's get started. So when you log into your floor planner account, um, I'm going to show you where you can find those updates that are being posted live by our programming team over in the Netherlands. So if you want to see the current updates, take a peek at them. Um, go to your dashboard and, and upper left-hand corner, go to your profiles tab, those four little squares up there in the upper left-hand corner. And that will give you this right-hand sidebar. And in the right-hand sidebar, you'll see the new features. And there's a more button inside there. If you select the more button, it'll actually take you to this tab right here, where you can actually see all of the updates that have been posted actually for the past year or so. So if you want to scroll backwards in time, you can take a quick look at some of the snippets out there of some of the previous updates that have been loaded into your platform. We left off last time, last month, when we were talking about the wizard improvements. Um, really, really awesome for the room styles and the room style wizards. And here come the latest three editions. Uh, First off, we have uh, materials are being added to the structural elements. So when you look in your database of your library of different assets that are available to you in the architecture category, you're going to find with those structural elements that you're going to be able to change out many of their materials. Um, this will be one feature we'll take a peek at. I'll show you where those materials are listed. And also, when you are viewing your model in 3D, we've had a lot of requests for this, that you know the doors are closed in 3D, and sometimes you just want to see through those openings. Um, so now you have a toggle switch in your 3D settings that you can actually turn off the three-dimensional doors that you placed in there, which will then create openings into your rooms. You can see straight away through your hallways and straight into your rooms. Uh, one I really want to take a few extra moments with, as you know, I love sharing about the fact that you can upload your own JPEG or PNG image to any one wall surface, um, custom wallpaper, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yet now there are the collections of wallpaper that are being added inside Floor Planner and also the different paint companies are now being uh, promoted with inside Floor Planner. So you can find those specific. Um, and when you actually are you know, viewing your front view of your wall, you can now change out those materials while you're in the front view mode um, and see what they're gonna look like. Um, nice combination in there uh, where you can actually change them out looking at the straight on elevation, parallel elevation of that particular wall. So let's let's roll through these three real quick. Um, let's talk about, first of all, the materials being added to the structural elements hop into my login for my platform, if we will. And I'll just open up one of my projects. And take a look at, uh, I dropped in there one of the structural architectural elements in uh, playing with one of the guest rooms in this particular model. And we will take a peek at some of the materials that are available. So. In my image here, I had dropped in this one element right here, which is a pillar. Now you can also, you know, certainly go searching for other assets through, you know, the furniture icon on the left-hand side, which of course is not just furniture. Um, you can go in here and start looking in the architecture tab of the general library of our assets. And inside there, you're gonna find many uh, architectural elements uh, to be added into your plan. Um, and you'll find that when you select many of these, um, there's also some really cool ones in here for baseboards and such. Um, I'm just gonna drag one of these baseboards in just for a second, just so I can show you. 
There's a baseboard. And what's very cool with the baseboards, you know, you can go into baseboards and see where the finish is identified. This happens to be an oak baseboard. Uh, yeah, there's other selection materials in there now. We can change it out to be a black baseboard, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I was fascinated by this one with the pillars in here, actually. This little guy is an example. And uh, that there are many materials. So it depends on the item that you're actually creating, uh, that you're working with in your structural entities. But you can change out these materials to different colors. Mm, not sure if that pink is going to work for me, but we'll, we'll just go for the blue for right now. Um, so yes, it's, it's very simple just to look at the material that's been called out for it. And if it has the ability to change out those materials, that material can then be expanded um, with this pull down menu here on the side and then select another material, pretty simple. Um, this will function for you in the 2D view and fairly simple as I was saying. And I said, even with the baseboards are always, I think the baseboard modifying modifying those materials in there, you know, go from white to black to wood to oak, et cetera. Um, I think I have a lot of fun with that. Of course, always remember that you can also change out um, the settings in there for the dimensions of those items when you need to make a baseboard higher, thicker, et cetera. Okay, so enough about that. Let's move on for a second, to see what our second point was that we wanted to talk about. Um, the open doorways and the 3D settings. So let's go back into that same model for a second. And let's go into my 3D view. And inside my 3D view, I think I'm probably, I think I'm probably try to go down one of the hallways and hop over to maybe as if I was going down to that guest bedroom down there. All oh, these doors are getting in the way. Um, it's a very tight, tight hallway also. So maybe in the 3D, and remember, every time you see a gear inside Floor Planner, it goes to additional settings, changes that you can make with little toggle switches. So uh, while you're in 3D, go to the Settings tab right here. And inside the Settings tab, sure enough, this is a new tab created right here. It says Show Doors. Yeah, the doors are turned on, and you can toggle them off. Turn them off, and then you have these openings. Um, depends on what you're trying to achieve with what level of presentation you're trying to make. Um, but right now it's, it's the door is gone in your 3D view and we can go right into our room. I'm going to go ahead and turn those doors back on. Okay. And let's go to maybe a camera view inside that particular room, I guess bedroom. And yep, there's that blue, now blue pillar that we created inside there. And of course we know we can change out those colors and materials. Next, uh, next uh, the, the third and the last for, for this go around that I wanna talk about for the updates is, is this particular wall. So if you haven't had a chance to work with applying a JPEG or PNG image to a wall material um, and upload your own custom image and material to it, um, this will be a good overview for you. Plus these new features that when you're viewing the straight on elevation of this particular wall that we'll use, for example, you realize that you can change out those materials and actually view the different materials before you even go back into your 3D model. So let's say we're gonna be functioning with this, this wall right here. We're gonna go ahead and apply um, a custom wallpaper. We'll try a few different patterns of wallpaper to see what they might look like. And then that's from the general library within the floor planner library, the different selections of the different vendors of those wallpapers. And we're going to go ahead and actually even upload our own custom JPEG PNG image to place on this wall. And I, I took a, an image of a wainscot, um, 36 inches high down to the floor with a little baseboard and a little bit of a chair rail. It's all in the JPEG image. So you can just see how you can apply that image and create a wainscot uh, right over top of it. So let's go back into our 2D image and we'll select that wall. This is that wall in that bedroom right there. And when I select the wall, I get the left-hand sidebar over here. Pretty typical with floor planner, select an item, you get the left-hand sidebar and you get more detailed information about the item that you selected. Now we're working with this wall and you can see that if this is the elevation from the bedroom side, uh, obviously the door will be on the left-hand side. So I'm looking at the wrong side of this wall. I'm um, looking at the outside. So I wanna look at the inside so I can go toggle between side one and side two. 
side two is the interior of this room and obviously the door would be on the left hand side as this opening is showing here in this elevation. Now if I want to go to the front view of that particular wall, hit front view, and that's what you get. So this is a straight on parallel image, uh, true elevation of that particular wall that we're working on. And we're gonna experiment applying different materials to it. This is the new feature that's been added is that you can view uh, the selection and of items up here because now you have the uploads. Like I said, you could always upload your own JPEG or PNG image custom to the wall. Now you can actually go right into colors for this wall. And you know the this is the Dulux paint company out there and pick a color and apply it to the wall or maybe go out to your Benjamin Moore paints and the different collections within Benjamin Moore, find the range of colors, find a color that you might want to apply to that wall. We'll go for something neutral. And that applies it straight away to the wall. So now you're actually seeing exactly what that's going to look like even before you go into the 3D image. A little more fun is to go ahead and go to your materials that you could apply to that wall. And just like your material library that you've become familiar with, you can also you know, apply wood, carpet, stone, et cetera, but you can go down to wallpaper and inside wallpaper, you have the different wallpaper suppliers uh, that you can actually do a search for. And that maybe if I wanted to go down for something like Crate and Barrels collections, these are crate and barrel collections. Um, I want to see what that wallpaper is going to look like because it's already been created to scale by these specific vendors. So I can select an item and see exactly what that's going to look like on that wall. Notice also that I have that silhouette of the mirror that I actually have. I applied a physical mirror to the wall and you can see the wall mounted items down here that you can actually turn it on so you can see the item artwork, mirrors, etc. Okay, but you can hop between, you know, these uh, different materials inside here that you might want to go try different wallpapers and see what they're going to look like. So it's just that simple before you even work with the rendering on it to see how the scale works and what that style is going to look like on your wall. I'm going to go with something a little calmer, something like the chambray grass cloth and apply that to the wall. Okay, now that's, that's from the library within Floor Planner. You can still add a custom image, a custom JPEG or PNG image one to any one wall. So I said, I had that image of a, a wainscot, which I thought was really cool. So let's go ahead and find that. So if I go to the uploads, now these are items that I've already uploaded into my platform and I've already uploaded one, but if you were going to seek out one yourself, get yourself your JPEG or your PNG image, put it on your device and you would just say, choose a file and you would apply it to this wall. So I've already got these in my particular library. Don't be afraid to add multiple JPEGs or PNG images into your library because you do have these little trash cans in here. So you can always get rid of them if you didn't want them in the future. But you might have some favorites that you might want to use on a regular basis. Like I thought this wainscot was kind of cool. So it's an image that actually contains the baseboard, the wood trim frame, and also even the chair rail. Of course, we can change its height and we can change its width accordingly because we can scale it. So I want to apply this particular JPEG image on this wall also. So I have a actual default piece from the library within Floor Planner, and I'm adding one additional JPEG on top of it. So I'm gonna select this item, and it looks a little too big for sure. And there's a free tab in here, which will help you to go ahead and scale it through these little buttons on the corner so we can actually adjust its size. Now, if you want to be a little bit more accurate, we can certainly make this maybe you know, 36 or 40 inches in height, like a typical chair rail. And we can also then maybe change its width of this particular sample. And as long as it's a, what I call a seamless sample, meaning that it's designed because the way I cut the sample to repeat itself, um, left side matches the right side, top matches the bottom if it was wallpaper. But for, for this wainscot, I'm just basically making it so it all lines up uh, horizontally. So maybe I'm gonna make this maybe two feet wide. Well, it's a little small, maybe three feet. Okay, so 
there is the beginnings of what I have going on for this nice wood trim on the base. And now I can repeat this item horizontally across the way. So after I did the free scale on it and entered those dimensions, I can tileize it horizontally from the pull down menu. So you've got the wainscot going on down the bottom because we applied the JPEG. We've changed out the wallpaper up here. Like I said, we could change out to paint colors, different wallpaper patterns, and view them here in this application of its straight on parallel image of the wall. And so when this is all the way you want it to look and you're happy with it, you just close out this particular window and that'll accept it. And you can see it actually. So since the wall is still accepted, uh, the wall is still selected, you can see in the upper left-hand corner that there are the two patterns that we've actually applied to that wall. And of course we could then set save on that and go into our 3D model and go to that particular camera view and we'll take a peek at what we created. And I did take a little time to go ahead and render that out. Um, and I can actually show you the rendering that I already created that I sent out to show you what that's gonna look like. But there's, there's what we just did live. You know, there's that applied material, JPEG image on the bottom, which we scaled. And the selection process that we had all these different materials that we could take a look at when we're looking at that straight on parallel image. So we selected this material. And like I said, I did go, or I took the time to just go ahead and send this out to a rendering so you can see how nice it renders. Um, that's only, you know, it's one material from the library with Inside Floor Planner from the category of the wallpapers. Um, and my custom uh, application of another JPEG image on top of it. So I think this is extremely powerful. I think you have a lot of freedom now to make your selections uh, from the library that keeps growing with Inside Floor Planner. So keep watching as those different vendors keep expanding for you and your database keeps becoming uh, wider and broader and giving you more opportunities for your design, trying to make this a little bit quicker, speedier, um, certainly uh, you have a lot more power to customize your wall treatments with this new feature. So thank you all for joining me today. I look forward to uh, seeing you next month when we talk about the updates that are about to come up beyond for this month of December. These are your Novembers for right now. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Thanks.